Hello. Here we go. 10 o'clock at night. Let's do it. You don't have to give the secrets away. Huh? You don't have to give the secrets away. I, I love showing how the sausage is made. <laughs> I mean, there's no need to pull the curtain back. <laughs> Please. The kayfabe's been dead for years. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, go, I go on all the uh, AEW wrestlers uh, YouTube vlogs and they're all kissing and hugging the guys they just had matches with the night before on TV. <laughs> it's fuck, they're all riding together and trying Oreos together and going out sh sneaker shopping. Fuck out of here. <laughs> there's there's no mystique left in this world trust me our little yeah, but, there's no there's no man but the man behind the curtain on this podcast I, is probably me and i i demand to be right i demand to be acknowledged so that's i'm not I'm rarely behind yeah, the but you don't have to you know pull the curtain back that i uh i was late you know to the call today you weren't late to the call we scheduled the call at 10 this is true because uh, i knew you were flying and uh, right. and since you hadn't reached out to let me know when at like six o'clock, I figured I'd schedule yeah. it with you. I'm a very busy person. <laughs> you like how even though I kind of gave you credit, I <laughs> threw the backhand, yeah, very <laughs> backhanded yeah. slap at you. <laughs> huh. Fuck it, unnecessary. Uh, I, that's debatable. I think people enjoy that. The one, even the ones that think I'm a dick probably secretly enjoy it a little bit. They're like, they they're like, they're like, he's a dick, so I don't have to be. They're all, they're. I'm just saying what they're all thinking. Because I'm, they're I'm, all thinking. Yeah, I know, I know. Because I'm the smart one. I uh, I see yeah. these things. <laughs> all right. So how was your you trip? Put yourself over? Are you, no, are you done? no, no. You know what else? You keep going? We could, you know what we can name this? Uh, the, this is the Ben put over show. <laughs> the Ben put over show. I don't. That doesn't really roll off the tongue that well. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. No, but, which is probably why it never happens. Anyway, uh, uh, I just uh, before we get into anything, I just right. realized that it's next. It's it's next fucking weekend, dude. Like. I'm like holy, sh holy shit! Where did October go? You've got, you've yeah. got I, seven. Secretly eight, wishing like you, a hurricane would come out of nowhere <laughs> next weekend, but yeah, it doesn't look like it. Ten, uh, you got ten days before uh, it's all over before your your yeah. uh, your, your public execution. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this anymore. You and Billy Fives in the ring one more time, uh, South Florida, 2012. Right now, <laughs> that's hilarious because you finally get your uh, promotional like image, like the you know your right. social media image to share of of just your match with Billy, and uh, it's the date on it is 2012, and I'm thinking that's a 2012. It would have been a much better match than now. <laughs> right, right than now. Right. I mean, so the way up, no, it would have been 100. percent This is going to be awful. And yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, I guess I I did look and I this was like one of like I don't know four to six images of other matches and they were all like right. just the two in individuals or the two tag teams in the image uh, with the you know with the for the pay for the not not pay per view but for the event and with all the information and all of them said 2012. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i saw i saw blake took a shot at it but uh i did notice of, that, oh, of course he did i did notice they all got fixed uh and so now we're back we jumped into the delorean and we're back uh in 2021 now so it's official guys if you want to see uh billy and aj uh have their wrestling match next sunday right sunday the seventh yeah sunday, uh, because if you want to see it happens on a sunday and you're local Go go look it up. It's CCW Wrestling. Uh, I don't know that it's their building, their like official arena, uh, uh, and that's in where is that Coral Springs or Pompano? I don't know. It's, it's Pompano, Pompano, Pompano. It's north of me. Uh, yeah. That's all I know. Uh, so if you're local, please come uh, because it you know like. They've done away with the days of like public hangings and shit like that. So if you want right. to if you want to see someone become unalived, in, alive and in, in you know, in all of, all of your senses and colors, uh, come to the show because uh, Billy is going to absolutely murder you. Uh, and if you can't make it 
follow all, follow <laughs> all of our social medias because I'm not sure which one I'm going to stream it on. If I'm going to stream it on Facebook, if I'm going to stream it on Instagram, or if I'm going to stream it on TikTok. But if you're following all three, Briz Quiz, uh or Breakfast Club, look us up. Uh, but link should be in all, any, anything you're listening to us on now. The link should be in the description. Um, uh, you won't miss it because you'll be following all three and you'll be able to find it. Uh, also, let's let's since we're doing business. Uh, Just go ahead. Just get it all out yeah, of the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we're doing business, uh, don't forget that we are also blowing out all the old designs at 25% off T-shirts, tank tops, uh, ball caps, and hoodies. Uh, supplies are limited. We're already out of a few sizes. So if you want to make sure you get your size, uh, you might want to buy sooner than later because we're down to one and two of a lot of sizes <clears throat> if we're not out of them already. So uh, uh, right. we're just making room. We're going to have a whole new line of uh, merchandise at the beginning of the year or at the end of this year, whenever I feel like uh, doing that work. Uh, but in the meantime, Every existing thing is 25% off, uh, and it helps support us. It'll help support AJ with his medical bills, uh, maybe even funeral That's costs a or a few bucks for books for Nick's college fund, uh, whatever, you know, because AJ won't be there to take care of it. Um, and and I'm, I don't know what kind of life insurance policy he has. Anyway, uh, yeah, so how was your trip? Uh, Pittsburgh is a miserable fucking town. <laughs> I, I was there once in 89, I think for the summer of 88 or 89. I saw the Who in concert at Three Rivers Stadium. Uh, so and I haven't been back you know, since. But summer is hot as a motherfucker there. Right. So I've never been there in summer. But every time I go, it's either snowing. It's well. So this is actually the first time I went and it wasn't snowing in eight years. Usually it's snowing. But it was cold and rainy. Uh, it's just dreary. Like there's no sun. And it's just a miserable atmosphere. And we went out like, uh, we went out last night and last call was nine o'clock, like, which is weird to me. Yeah, it is weird. At a bar. I mean, I had, I had a beer and I got to tell you, I know we're going to talk about food and you know, whatever, but I had a beer and we got, uh, we went to a place that serves meatballs. It's like a, the gimmick is, is it's called Sierra Mercada. And their gimmick is meatballs, right? So you get meatballs all different kinds of ways. I mean, so they had like four prepared dishes, like you like, but then you could build your own meatball bowl. It's all in a bowl, no, you know, bread. Now you could get meatball parm sandwiches or paninis, and but I didn't want that. So the girl we were with said, "You got to get it's a baked potato meatball bowl. I gotta have it." So. You get it. Why it's do you a, like a, <laughs> why do you gotta have it? <laughs> so okay, this is okay, this is this is how just to show my fatness. So when she orders it, the waitress goes, Oh yes, just like that. I turned around to the waitress and I said, That was like really emphatic. Like you like that wasn't like, okay, I'll take your order. You oh yes, like it was emphatic, like your tone changed, you I go is it that good? And she's like, what? I go, your, your entire tone was just different. And now mind you, I just went through two days of training of being able to detect people's tones and like what it means and stuff. Body so language like it caught my, like that. Yeah. Right. It caught my, it caught me. And she goes, I mean, it's probably the best thing on the menu. And I said, well, I have to get it. Do you know that we were, there was 12 of us out of the 12, eight of us got it because of the way she fucking sold it yeah uh so it comes in a little tin bowl and uh, i've got a picture to post and it has it is a giant bowl of creamy cheese mashed potatoes okay <laughs> like a giant bowl of these creamy cheese mashed potatoes there's three giant meatballs inside of it there is tater tots bacon uh and like sour cream it's literally a loaded baked potato and chives with three giant fucking meatballs in it. It was so good. At the end, the, the way the bowl was shaped, they give you a fork. You couldn't scoop the... Talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You couldn't scoop the remaining yeah. stuff off. Because it doesn't... The physics of a fork and the way the bowl was shaped didn't work. Like, you needed a spoon. And 
or you know, like finger. We're, we're, we're like right, right, or something, a piece of bread. I don't know, but we're. I'm looking. Everybody's trying to scrape the bowl. That's how good it was. And it's funny because today someone said, "Where'd you guys go last night?" And the one guy said, "This meatball place, Sierra Mercado." And he said, "Was it good?" And he said, "Honestly, if I wasn't with twelve other people, I would have licked the bowl. That's how good <laughs> it was." And and so he, I said, he said he would lick the bowl, and and he said because the fork and the bowl didn't like. And I was thinking the same thing, like this doesn't like you got to need a spoon or something. Yeah. But anyway, it was amazing. So. We go upstairs to have like a like a rooftop bar with a retractable roof. Now obviously it's closed because it's cold and rainy. But we get a beer, and at nine o'clock the guys are like last call. I'm like last call. It's nine o'clock, and they turn all the house lights on. I was That's like crazy. You're o'clock. like you're like in Pittsburgh, like a real, downtown, a real fucking city, right? Downtown Pittsburgh. But now now, I haven't been out post COVID, but pre COVID, man. Downtown Fort Lauderdale, even yeah. during the week, four o'clock, baby, four o'clock. I remember when I was working for Broder weeknights where I would just go from the office to the, the poorhouse downtown and I would sit at that bar and drink and bullshit with people until last call, which was at 4 a.m. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Nine o'clock. I can't even like I don't even like listen, I'm too old for that shit now, but. Even, even, but for, even for me, nine o'clock is like ridiculous. Like that's that, uh, that's most that people. Is. Most people just get started that. at nine o'clock. Like down here, like what the hell is that shit? But here's the thing. Yeah, you have baseball. The World Series is on. You had hockey. It's not like, like, it wasn't just a normal Wednesday night. I mean, it was a pretty right. Like, they should know, be sport, like they should bar. be open and serving be... till the fucking games are over. Right, right. So, yeah, I don't know. I just Pittsburgh is a. It's an interesting place. I've been there a lot. Uh, it's funny because over the last eight years that I've been going there, this is the first time I ever went downtown. I never went downtown before. I usually just go to Permonte Brothers and call it an evening. But uh, I didn't have Permonte's this time. I, I oh, really? It. That's ridiculous. That's no. Because, that's almost a sin. Well, no, but because we went to different places this time because. To the Pittsburgh locals, they're like, Pramontes, it's fucking garbage. <laughs> they know that. No, They're like, I, no, it's garbage. Yeah, it's a tur- the touristy thing for them. But we like it. Right. I mean, we like the one here. I mean, let it's alone. Not, but it, it, it's not the same. I mean, yeah, I don't know. So we went We went to a grilled cheese place the other night. That went, was interesting. I went to, uh, when I was there, I don't know if it's still around, this, this burger joint, um, like a college burger joint kind of place. Right. I forget what it's called, but they're like, I think one of the things they're known for are like big onion rings and stuff like that. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't know if it rang a bell with you or Is not. that where you got the uh, cock meat sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring me as many onion rings as you can carry without using your hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <funny. laughs> yeah, I don't know what the burger. I don't know what place that is. But like a like, col- like a college. Place. Like what's the college? Pittsburgh, right? Pitt, right? Yeah, University of Pitt. Yeah, yeah, I, there's, yeah, I think there's like a a like a famous like. Kind of like varsity, yeah, like a like their okay. version of the varsity. I I figured you. Oh might. yeah, what you know what? No, somebody mentioned it last night. I forgot the name. I forget of it. it starts with an O or something. Yeah. Or? So we we started talking about I the conversation. It's funny you say that. The conversation started because I said the one guy said every time people come to Pittsburgh they want to go to Promontes, and I said well it's like every time someone comes to Atlanta they always want to go to varsity. Now anybody who knows varsity, it's shit food. It's right. literally like shit. Right. Like you eat it, you shit. Like you don't even, you can't, you, you literally eat it and you have to shit at the varsity because it's coming right back out. Right. And when my, my boss's boss had come here a couple weeks ago, he was like adamant about going to the varsity for lunch. And I was like, it's garbage. And he's like, what? No, it's the varsity. Like I saw it on Food Network. I was like, yeah, no, like you literally looks like dog food, some of that stuff. Like the only reason to go so to they, varsity is to get a t-shirt to say you went to right, the varsity. They, well, the best part is they went and the inside was closed. So it was like only outside only. 
uh, dry, what do, you, what do you, I don't know what you call it, where you order outside and they bring it to you, whatever. I mean, that, um, you mean like yeah. the dine in the cars and they kind of like, right, right. like in the old days they were on roller skates and shit like that and they would hang it off yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at least that's right. more of an experience than going in and eating, but. Well, but the, I didn't go because I was like, no, nah, I skipped lunch that day because I was like, I am so sick if I, so when they got back, I said, what'd you have? He's like, oh, I had a chili dog. Oh, I boy. mean, it looks like they took like the food at, right. So, you know, like, I, I don't want to eat that shit. It's not, it's not even, I love a chili dog, but not from the far city, you know? Right. Like, so then somebody brought up that burger place there. And then the, the only reason they so I don't remember the name of it. And then someone brought up one, there's a guy from Ohio there. And he said, oh, that's like this place in Ohio. And everybody wants to go there. And it's the same thing. It's a shit burger. Yeah, it's like, all, they're all the, you know, they're all that like cities. Because uh, they were on the food varsity, and but dives, but no, it's right. but but it's but it's kind of like they're but they're all basically the same type of restaurant with like the burgers right. and fries, college yeah. vibe, and kind of like like also like have been around forever, you know. Open and that's yeah, and that's yeah. part of their reputation is just they've been there forever. Yeah, right. right. I I wish we could think of what the Pittsburgh one is. Someone's yelling, like listening to this thing and screaming yeah. out the name. Screaming. I, and I know who, but uh, <laughs> who is that? <laughs> Doesn't Chrissy Chrissy live there in Pittsburgh? Oh, she does. Right. Yeah, right. So right. Yeah, think, maybe she would know. She, she yeah. would know. Yeah. 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 So anyway, um, yeah. So uh, so but but what's the is there a a punchline to that story? Did they all end up with food poisoning or something? No, it's it's we were talking about it. How shitty, like. No, the guys that, that think, the guys that demanded to go to the varsity, and that that oh, you. No, no, so it's funny because I the, the two guys I did not I didn't go and the two went and uh, the one guy after was like I was like oh what'd you get he's like I actually didn't get anything and I was like yeah I don't blame you <laughs> so the one guy was the only one who got it and he you know I don't know maybe he's got a stomach of like an iron stomach but he yeah. was fine but the other guy was like I'm not getting that. <laughs> Yeah, that's been. I I was hoping for a little vindication. Like I'm not going there. I know better. And you you've all been warned. And then they all come back and they're like they're like floored for two days with food poisoning or something. Well, I I just used the excuse of I wasn't hungry, and the other guy did too. And yeah, but so I'm over here searching to you're look like, for. You're like the old guy at the gas station, uh, yeah. in the woods right before the the, the last stop the teens uh, make before going to the haunted cabin and the guy there warns them don't Not go to the go cabin it's cursed land yeah. the, the the people have died up there and they all laugh at him and then go to the cabin and you were that old guy at the fucking gas station warning them about the varsity <laughs> right right yeah and they still went yeah and they still yeah. went and luckily none of them uh, got their heads caved in or chopped off <laughs> right right well it's it's but i'm searching Restaurant, famous burger places in Pittsburgh. The, you'll never guess the name of a famous burger place in Pittsburgh. Famous, I feel like I have to go there now. Famous college burger places in Pittsburgh. Well, I, I'll go back to that in a second. Yeah. But the place that came up, I feel like I have to go. This restaurant is called The Vandal. Oh. That's the name of the restaurant. You have it's to go. It's The The Vandal. You sh yeah, I mean, you should have done some uh, heads up Googling before you came back from this trip. I mean... I think, I think. Yeah. You, I mean, when you when you go to Pittsburgh again, you need. I I mean, is, I, I have a feeling I'll be going there quite a bit. This uh, is this is a mecca. Like, yeah. next time you go, you need a photo out in front of the place, and you need a shirt. You need to get the T-shirt. Yeah, I mean, you know, handle, you know, handle. you know what? I bet you, if you talk to someone when you go there and you go, listen, I used to run. I used to wrestle as Tommy Vandal. I have 250 blah, blah, blah on TikTok because I'm a big fucking blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Look at my dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By then you'll have 300, whatever, yada, yada. Maybe you can even get like the free T-shirt and like a little fucking put over think? and go, listen, I'm going to fucking, whether your food's good or not, I'm going to put it over like a million bucks. I just, you know, if you want to throw me a fucking dessert, I'm not going to fucking complain about it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> see what you can fucking, see if you can uh, do a little gentle arm twisting. Uh, I'll put it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the whole gimmick. Yeah, just ma make sure like five times. So you three hundred thousand followers. Every time you, every time you bring it up, it's a few more. Three hundred twenty-five thousand followers. <laughs> Listen, I got half a million followers. To the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so it's funny you're talking about 
uh, talking about that. So, um, this whole week, you know, I'm at corporate office and, uh, quite a few people obviously know about my TikTok, but the, um, the expansion of my TikTok fame at corporate office this week went next level because, um, we, we like the first like first night couple guys you know first day they're like oh they, they call me slambino now so i've i've morphed i've morphed from like anthony the corporate guy to just slambino and they're like slambino like everybody in the corporate <laughs> office is calling me slambino everyone else is uh, mr someone and you're slambino <laughs> right, right they're like slambino and, and and it's like to the point where like the president of my department the president is calling me slambino hmm. you know he's like slambino like it's just that's my new name now. So uh, somebody had brought it up, like, you know, a couple of guys who knew, were like, oh, Slambino. And they're like, oh, what about those pizzas you're eating? And like, you know, like asking questions. And and a couple of them are big wigs. Like, they're top, these are top notch people. And they're, you know, they're, they're just, you know, they're kind of fucking with me a little bit. And the one guy's like, you know, he's like a you know, vice president or something, director. And he's like, you know, oh, I'm his agent. Anything's got to go through me. Like, this guy's trying to be my agent. This guy's trying to, like, you know, you know, oh, we need help with our social media here. And, then, you know, so it's like it's becoming a running joke. Well, at dinner the second night, the president of my department was there and he was like, what is this TikTok? Like, I keep hearing everybody say it. Like, what are they talking about? So they're like, come over here, come talk. So I go sit down next to him and across from him. And we're, you know, he's like, what? So I explained to him, he's like, this is fucking wild. He's like, so, like, he's blown away by it, like, just blown away. And he's like, so you just eat? And he's like, you eat the stuff they send you? I'm like, yeah, he's like, aren't you afraid someone's going to poison you? I was like, nah, I mean, I don't know. So I'm telling him the whole you don't, thing. You, don't, like, eat blah, the, blah, you blah. don't eat the open ones. You, you no, no. But like, you check so for I razor blades. Fuck it. Right. And he, he's like, just, he's popping. He's like, this is great. So that was the first one. So the next night, next day, we're in class. Like, we're in class. And there's a guy teaching. And they're talking about something. He's in the back of the president. The back of the room and something happened and he goes oh like the guy up like oh he goes like the guy that eats british chocolate on tiktok and has a quarter million followers and uh he like said this whole thing and everybody started laughing in the room and the guy who's like teaching the class is like what the hell are you talking about he's like i don't know he may be wearing a purple shirt and a black jacket and he's like talking about me so i'm like turning red <laughs> and uh this is the like I mean, this is a big way. Like he is like you can't get any higher in my department. So he's like everybody's laughing. So a couple of people were like, they didn't know about it. And they're like, what is this TikTok? So I'm telling them a couple guys are downloading TikTok there. <laughs> it's, like, installing the this. app on their fucking right. phone as they right. <laughs> right. <laughs> just to so, follow you. Right. So you know, it's become this everybody's, you know, it's just the whole week it was just it was just like you know, anytime something happened, they'd be like, oh, ask Mr. UK over there. You know, like it was always like a joke. So today it was like closing, closing ceremony, whatever, you know, like we did, we had to, we had a workshop today, but then this is the closing remarks. And in the closing of the remark, the president literally gets up there and the first thing he's standing up there and gets on his microphone and it's an auditorium of people. And he's like, He's like, just starts talking. He's like, you know, it's just great. He's like, especially to have, you know, a famous TikToker here now with the, uh, and I'm like, this is insane. He's like, Slambino. I'm like, everybody's calling me. Like, this is it. I've taken it to the next level. Like, like, I think I have, like, I have found a way to, uh, this couldn't be any more of a Seinfeld thing. Like, I, this is such a Costanza. I I've found a way to keep my job <laughs> by solely being, like yeah. first it was the wrestling now everyone the tiktok everyone else gets fired for making tiktoks uh by right. their jobs yeah. and you have secured your position by becoming right, right. this like also like listen you're i feel like i don't want to put like you know horse before the cart here but i feel like you're like an inch away from becoming like their jared or you know what I mean, like, like, so, like, like, like that. You're all of a sudden gonna be the one name character, Slambino, <laughs> that's like shopping at Dicks all the time. <laughs> but here's the thing. So like now I know, like I know that like everybody knows. So now I'm going into like, like this like self like promotion Most, mode. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, well, I have two hundred and forty three thousand. The official account only has fifty five thousand. 
like I am a nobody and I have more followers. Like the content is horrible. Like, you know, but they did just, you know, they hired some like famous people to do some stuff. And I was like, damn it. But, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're just, I, I'm look, I know, I'm, you know, the famous birthday thing came up and they're like, how the hell did you get on famous birthdays? I was like, I'm kind of famous, <laughs> you know, I'm playing it up. Like, you know, and, and, They've seen me wrestle on the TV, you know, on the Ring Warriors. So they now they think like this guy's been on national television. <laughs> like, you know, like guys, this is such a Costanza. Like, it's almost be like any more it's almost like what's he doing working for us? <laughs> but a couple of them that are were like, man, it's only a matter of time before you're gone. And I was like, I don't, I don't think so, guys. You know, and they like you make any money. I was like, yeah, not a dime. I was like, but I got I got nine free pizzas, right, and and, and two hundred chocolates. But yeah, right, that's right, right, right. <laughs> well, we try to sell yeah. merchandise. Yeah, and they just they, but they, you know, perception is is it's the perception that I'm some sort of celebrity, you know, and I think that's what's fucking funny, quite honestly. Yeah, but you know, um, that's what's funny, but yeah, so. It was a yeah, very good week, very good week, and uh, you know, I just it's it's cool to be there and be like. Plus, I've worked all over the country, right? I've worked in all these different places, so I know everybody. So you know, you got some rookies there; they don't know anybody. You know, they're like, and they see them, and they're like, "How do you know so many people at this office?" And I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, kind of a big deal here." <laughs> you know, I'm just, you know, and they're and they're all rookies, so they, you know, they don't know, and I'm like, you know, they're like, this guy must be really like, you know, they think I'm like somebody special because. There's people all over, like, hey, oh, hey, oh, you know. It's like, how do you know so many people? I was like, I know everybody. It's just how I roll, you know. It's just how I roll. Connected, but you gotta. I'm, co- I am connected. You gotta, you gotta convert those connections into dollars, my friend. This is. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But we've, we've, we've been spinning our wheels here for far too long. By the way, I think we're coming up on our 150th episode of the Furlough Five. Wow. Uh, 150. I don't know if we should celebrate in any way mm. or just pretend like it's another I day. I don't know. I mean, you, yeah. you have enough famous days in your life, I think. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what we can do. Well, we'll think now, about it. If anybody's got any ideas, shoot a, shoot a message over. I mean, I feel like maybe we have Billy on because we got to have him on oh, one, that guy. one more time to hype the fight before, uh, before fight. Uh, no fight. the 7th. <laughs> You're right. No it, it ain't gonna be much of a fight. You're <laughs> absolutely much of a fight. Right. <laughs> it ain't gonna be much of a fight. You ever, I mean, you ever no, just see, only... you ever just see a cow get herded through a little fucking <laughs> gateway, and then a pole gets punched through its head and it's dead. That's pretty much what we're doing here. We're just lining <laughs> you up for your execution, and it's gonna go. It's not even gonna be as humane as possible. No. <laughs> No, this is gonna be it's ugly. Gonna be a, it's gonna be a brutal yeah. <laughs> bleeding I, out. And, you know, like I got to Pittsburgh Monday. I worked out. Like I, I worked out. I did two miles outside in the rain, walking. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get in shape this week. And then Tuesday came, and I ate like a pig. I drank beer. Wednesday came, I drank more beer. I ate like a pig. I was like, yeah, this is all downhill. Yeah, today you're the meat. I had a cheeseburger. Today I had a cheeseburger the today. Meatball you know, king. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, so and I will be posting these pictures on the Instagram here. I got I, I got some pictures. Of I some keep food. hearing that. I yeah. saw a picture you sent us the other day. I didn't see it end up on a on Instagram. No, I haven't posted. I was very I kind of stay off social I, media. A little I bit know you're week. you're really busy in that fucking hotel room at night doing absolutely nothing. Well, no, like it was like it was like meetings right to dinner, right to like it was very. It was, you know, the days were just packed. Well, so no, like, and I understand after eating a fucking bowl of potatoes and meatballs, you're ready to fucking Right, sleep. right. And, and I, like, I brought chocolate with me. I brought chocolate, and I only filmed, you know, I posted one video a day, but I brought the chocolate with me because I, you know, I needed to film still. So I, and when I, everybody was like, what are you doing this week? Like, how are you going to make videos? I was like, I brought the chocolate with me. They're like, you brought the chocolate with you. I was like, I suppose you didn't yeah, just out a couple items. I'm grab like, some random people to do it with. Fuck it. Yeah, I should. So, like, I had an idea about, like, filming with some of the people at work and, like, maybe we can taste test them and be like, oh, I'm going to have my coworkers taste test it. But, you know, it's funny because when it comes down to it, they're like, oh, I don't want to be on camera. Like, they're all camera shy. Yeah. You know? We, we had a little drill today where we had to do, after our class, they, had re- they like, you know, they wanted people up front to kind of kind of go over some stuff. And uh, the guy was like, hey, the first part, you're really good at it. It was just, you know, some 
about introducing yourself, to, basically just talking to people, introducing yourself, and <clears throat> like, you know, part of the class you went through, and they were like, you know, we, we want you to do the first part. I was like, yeah, hook me up, gave me the microphone, like, and everybody else was like, oh, I don't want to go up there, and, and there I am, I'm like up front doing like the two step tap mm -hmm. dance, you know, like, Mr. And, Mr. Public Speaker that you were trying to right, do two years ago, <laughs> right? Right, and I'm up there, I'm owning it, but. It's funny because the one guy, he's uh, he used to be my boss when I was in California, but now he's, he got promoted. He's like, uh, he's like, yeah, I can get you up there. And we're like, put your singlet on. And I was like, I'm not wearing my singlet. No, pal. <laughs> I was like, that thing doesn't fit. No. Uh, he's like, yeah, he's like, oh, come on. He's like, you know, well, he's like, and he was saying, like, you should be like, you know, like on the, you know, the, you know corporate pages. Like, we could, you know, use you and do things. And, Whatever. I was like, I'm not putting a single on. That's not happening. So, uh, because everybody automatically assumes too, like that wrestling. You know, wrestling still gets brought up too, and they're like, you know, they always go to, oh, throw the singlet on. I was like, well, I wasn't an amateur wrestler, like, and they're like, yeah, we know, but those guys in WWE wear singlets. I was like, yeah, I'm not wearing a singlet to the corporate office. Like, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't plug the. Uh... The November seventh date to the whole fucking room while you're while you had the well, microphone. No, so they, <laughs> well, they keep asking me when are you going to wrestle in Pittsburgh, and I'm like, I'm never. And they're like, oh, we would, everybody, the whole office would come. I was like, oh, that'd be so funny, so you know, the whole office there in Pittsburgh, and, you know. Well, how many tickets is that? It'd be a lot. <laughs> like what? Twenty five people, fifty people. How many people? Well, probably fifty. Yeah. 50, 50 people. You could get booked at Pittsburgh if you sold 50 tickets. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work. Come on. There's <laughs> got to be some half-ass promotion that would book you for 50, right. for 50 tickets sold. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's all I got today. I'm, I flew home. I, I, we're, uh, so real quick, flying. Listen, I, next time, so actually, actually, next time you have, next time you have a corporate thing in Pittsburgh for three days, right. you should get booked. Like if it's like, if it's right. overlaps a wrestling night, you should get booked somewhere and, and just surprise everyone with it. And just do it. All yeah, right. be like, I'm wrestling tomorrow, guys. I'm wrestling down at the the VFW Hall or whatever, the Pittsburgh fucking Jabroni League or whatever, uh, and uh, and and just you know, put up or shut up. Come on, guys. They're all yeah. they're all in from elsewhere. What else are they going to do that night? But see you wrestle. That's not not a bad idea. See the smart one with all the ideas, and you just going. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds yeah. like a lot of work. It does. Uh, um, listen, that so could be that say, could be where the boss, the big boss, goes and sees you wrestle and goes, "That's my guy. He's going to be the face guy. of our commercials for the next ten years or something." <laughs> you could be the Joey Zuzu of fucking uh, of of your fucking work. Trust me, there's, oh, there's worse man. ways to earn a living than in a singlet on TV uh, on a thirty second commercial. <laughs> <laughs> okay well last thing i was gonna say i you know i told the story the other day on the plane with the lady with the uh the uh the pill, lotion everywhere the pilled up lady yeah right so tonight i get on my second flight from charlotte to atlanta and uh the kid next to me who's just you know talking a little bit younger kid and he's like you smoke cigars and i was like what He's like, do you smoke cigars? I was like, no. He's like, I said, why are you asking me that? And he's like, you know, oh, I, I got some cigars. And he like takes these two cigars out of like this package that's like professionally sealed. And he's like, my boss smokes cigars and he keeps giving these to me, but I don't smoke cigars. And I was like, wait, what? I was like, where's your boss? He's like, oh, he's in first class. He put the kid in the jabron section while he was in first class, which is fucking such a good move. Number one. Right. No, number two. I said, wait, I'm confused. You, he said, yeah, he keeps giving me cigars, but I don't smoke. But he doesn't want to tell his boss he doesn't smoke cigars. So, like, the end of the trip, his boss gives him some cigars and is like, hey, thanks for the, you know, hard He's... work. It's like, like, it's a bonus. And he thinks the kid's smoking the cigars, but the kid is – I said, so what do you do with him? He goes, I've just been giving them out all day. <laughs> I've just been giving them out to people. So that he, like – so he gave me one. Well, I don't smoke cigars. The fucked but... up thing is if you – if the guy knew he didn't smoke, he probably would have gotten the bonus he could use. 
Uh, right. Now he's yeah, I was like, you probably should say something. And <laughs> he's also you gonna know? be fucked when this this guy wants to smoke with the kid one night, and uh, right. and then it's it's he's turning green from his first cigar, and and he's like, yeah. well, well, what's wrong with you? You act like you've never smoked any of these cigars <laughs> I've been giving time, you for the right? last three years. <laughs> <laughs> right. So he gave me one, and uh, on the plane, and it smelled so sweet, like you could. And he said, yeah, it's supposedly a sweet, sweet one. And I was like, yeah, I s- smell it. So uh, I, got, I got a cigar from some random kid on the plane. Would but, he, uh, wouldn't he be kicking himself if they've all had, like, weed in them? And in, in the Boston? Right. Who smart him up to Boston. that? <laughs> right, been... right. <laughs> Giving him out all day. Yeah. yeah. But the funny part, funniest part of the plane was, so I get on the plane, and the, behind me is a uh, 80-year-old man. I only know this because he he – the guy, what happened was the guy was like boarded the plane and the old man was like talking to the other guy and they were like, uh, where are you from? He's like, Florida. And the, the, the younger guy was like, I'm from Florida, from, uh, you know, west coast of Florida. And the, guy, the old man's like, well, I had a house, I used to own a house in Oakland Park. And the guy's like, oh, I grew up in Fort Lauderdale in like commercial. So, you know, I got a chain around. I'm like, oh, I was like, you know, look at Boca Raton. Oh, you know, it's the yeah. Florida people. Well, uh, we're all talking, and the and the old man is in the middle, and the guy says, "How old are you?" He goes, "Guess how old I am." I, why old people do that, I don't know. You get to guess. So the guy's like seventy-two. He's like eighty. You know, uh, we're all like laughing. Well, people are still boarding the plane, and this uh, this younger black woman walks in through, and she <laughs> she goes to get in the seat, and the old the younger guy gets up. Now the older man, eighty years old, is in the middle, and she goes, "Baby, I'll just slide right across your lap." I fucking lost it. Like, I lost it. And the old man's like, oh, like, oh, I don't know if we should do that. Like, you know, he was like totally like, you know. So she gets in and she's now sitting behind me on the window seat. And she, she, uh, I'm laughing. She taps me on the shoulder. She goes, why are you laughing? And I said, you were really going to slide across his lap? She said, it probably, the, it probably would have been the best day of his life. <laughs> I was dying. Uh, and she, she was like, oh, you're so she like, she laughing. I said, I don't think he gets it. She said, I don't, I don't know if he did either. So, <laughs> and she said, I was really going to slide across his lap. <laughs> like, But it was interesting shit happened on the plane. But, yeah. Um, Sounds like a much better flight all. than, uh, yeah. Yeah, than Crackhead Jones over there <laughs> spilling shit all over. And I showed everybody that picture. I was like, look at the lady I sat next to. There's lotion everywhere. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I got nothing else. I'm tired. It's been a long, long week. Yeah, I feel bad for you. You were, you were on like a paid vacation. What are you talking about? You went out every night. Oh, yeah. You had good food. You got to stay in a hotel cool. and like, like probably got to abuse yourself to some dirty movies. You yeah. probably had a really good <laughs> fucking run. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but. I mean, you, you I'm going to go eat now because I haven't eaten dinner. Oh my God. It's this fucking fat fuck. Yeah, maybe skip a meal or two. You got you, no, no, no. You no. got the seventh at least. At least don't come out, come to your execution at f- maximum bloat, at full like fucking expansion. Listen. Could you, could you maybe like for the last week here, give a fuck, just try a tiny bit. No, we're good. We're even good. if you drop, if you dropped even five pounds over the course of the next like ten days, he's it would at pro- Tipsy Boar or something tonight. We're good. <laughs> he's at he's at La Tub actually. I saw he checked in. What the fuck he is? Uh, the 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 official the official restaurant of the after party, uh, probably the unofficial. Yeah, make it. The unofficial. Uh, the invite only uh, from I, Billy. Yeah, I'm tired. I don't want to talk about him anymore. <laughs> well, you don't have to talk about him anymore tonight. But we will be talking to him before the seventh. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, just be prepared for it. Don't all act right. all surprised when I have him on. Don't act. Don't act like it's been a you got bushwhacked, uh, bamboozled, right. ambushed. I, none of that. Uh, I don't, yeah. I don't want to hear it because you've been forewarned right. and forearmed. I'm done right. with you. I gotta go eat. We got leftover pizza. Oh my god! You're really just fucking. What are you gonna? But no, seriously. Like, aside uh, from the fact that you put no effort into being in shape for your fucking wrestling match, right? Like, let's just talk about the fact that you're over forty now and you're putting no effort into staying away from the the two hundred and seventy plus numbers on the scale. Like, what are you doing, man? 
But I, you think I'm taking advice from you? There's no adv- <laughs> there's no advice here. I'm just asking. What are you thinking, man? Did you just I don't know. did you are you full summer of George here? Or are you just is it oh, all? Oh yeah, we're. Mm-hmm. Is it all sweatpants and no. fuck it from here on out? I mean, I'm eating cold raviolis right now in the fridge. <laughs> oh, I was hoping out of a fucking can. I hope I was hoping you would do the full slot. You were insulting your whole family heritage by cracking a no, can my of, mom, of Boyardee. My, no, my mom made raviolis at some point. He oh, said, how's mom doing? How well, much? Obviously, not good eating raviolis. Right? How much has she gained since I put the the fucking malakia on her? Yeah, uh-huh. The old fucking <laughs> gave her the old fucking evil eye. That's yeah, what she we'll, gets we'll for taking a tomorrow. shot. I fucking threw the curse on her, the old Jewish curse. I'm telling you, she. Uh, I gave her the the carb curse. She's. I, I sprinkled matzah on her head when she was asleep. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to make a note to get an update on the uh, the mom front because uh, she yeah, took we'll, that we'll shot, that next and now I've cursed her. I said, oh, she gains all this that weight true. back she lost. So let me write yep, down here, do. mom's weight. We're going to check up on that one. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good great. talking to you. Uh, All right, enjoy, enjoy that ravioli, you fat piece of shit. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.